Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys through my mirror. Um, basically I wanted to do this type of video because I'm used to like talking to myself and I was like, well, if you're gonna be talking to yourself, you might as well be posting on YouTube as well while you do it. Um, so yeah, I'm like, let's just do like a get ready to get in the shower with me so you won't be getting in the shower with me. I would say get ready to go to bed with me, but, or like a get ready to go to bed, but I'm not getting ready to go to bed. I'm just getting ready to get clean after a long, long day of, of activities. And I want to talk to you guys about like all the stuff that I've been up to because I'm like, I think you guys, or I think I just want to document the things that I'd be, I'd be doing, you know, outside of just me writing me down in my journals um today started off really really good and it, it was good the entire time and i'm just that's why i'm just feel so grateful and so blessed today so let's just get into it um i woke up early i woke up at 8 a.m which unless i actually have a, a reason to be up early like a legitimate like oh you have work today i'm not really a fan of getting up early honestly i like to kind of just rest around until like 12 which i know some people are like oh my goodness you rest around till 12 yes i rest around till 12 to 1 kind of just relaxing i feel like i don't really eat breakfast till like 3 i do not condone my lifestyle but it is a lifestyle that fits me very well as of right now um so yeah i kind of have like lazy days or no it's not lazy let me not refer to it as lazy lazy has negative connotations it's just it's just like a calm day, you know? It's a very calm, relaxing day, which I enjoy. Oh my goodness, does anyone else get worried when like their hair literally is like in their, in their necklaces? Let me, I was like, let me clean everything off while I take it off too, cause it's been such a long day with lots of, not necessarily contact, but not contact with people, but like I've just been in a cleaning mood. I definitely learned that like me and cleaning, we're best buddies. I really enjoy cleaning off everything. I enjoy how it makes me feel. But let me keep telling you guys about my day. So yeah, I woke up, I was kind of like laying around because I'm like, ugh, I really don't like to be up this early. And then um my bestie came over. Um Isla came up came over, make sure you follow her account and said Isla Karma. Um she came over. Or it might just be Isla, like with a bunch of ages. I don't know, I'll find it, I'll link it below. So Isla came over, and then me, Isla, and my roomie, we kind of chilled around our place for a second, and then we went ahead and did a, um, They Helped Me, was my, my midterm film, which felt great. I'm excited for you guys to see the midterm film. Um, this weekend, I've been doing a lot of like filming and editing, and I'm excited for the projects to come out of March. Because there's a lot that I want to do, and there's a lot of things that you know, a lot of I, a lot of things that have been just getting presented to me, and I've been kind of like the yes woman, because I don't know if you've seen the TED Talk. I'll link this as well. But Shonda Rhimes, the producer and creator of shows like How to Get Away with Murder, um, Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, and now Bridgerton, uh, she produced that one. Bridgerton on Netflix, she she said that there was a whole year where, you know, she just said yes to everything. And um, I have to finish her audiobook. But I was like, yeah, like, let me just start saying yes to things that are that are appropriate, you know, nothing wild or anything like that. Because I'm, I'm definitely not a wild person. And I was telling Issa this, I was like, I realized I'm not a party person. Like, I'm not a party person. I'm not a... Um, I wouldn't say I'm not exciting, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm quite, I'm just, yeah, I'm not into that. I don't know what, what it is, but I'm just not really into all that other stuff. Like, I think if there was a party and it was like an intimate, nice, like cool party where like I knew everyone there and like we were really close, I wouldn't mind like having a great time. But I think being at parties kind of makes me shy sometimes. So that's that about me. But yeah, um, she said that there was she was like saying yes to a bunch of stuff and you know like her whole life changed after that and i'm like yeah i definitely should you know give different things a try and just see how that goes so i've just been like filming constantly and i used to be scared of holding 
cameras. I'm not scared of holding cameras anymore. I'm willing to try, you know, different cameras. I've been really studying my film equipment, putting it to use. I've been, I was scared of like doing little stuff like, or not necessarily little. I'm trying to be careful with words I use because I don't want to minimize anything that I do. But I, I was just being shy or something. Like, I don't know. I was just being shy. I was like nervous about messing stuff up. And it's just like, honestly, Derry, if you don't fail, you will never be, you will never get to that point in the craft where you feel confident about it. And I'm like, okay, Derry, remember, filmmaking is a craft, just like writing is a craft, just like speaking is a craft. All of those are crafts. And all of those take time to to learn and not necessarily perfect, but to get to a point where you're confident in your skills enough to be like, hey, you know, like I want a, a, a really big job. You know, I want a job that's going to pay me like a career where it's going to pay me a lot of money. Like I think it's you have to work your way up to being confident enough and skilled enough to make a feature film to, you know, make a, a big feature film, make a make a large budget feature film and you know the ultimate goal is to produce direct and screenwrite a a series like I want to I want to create a television series and you know you have to work your way up to that point and that's totally okay and it's just like I'm glad I'm working on it at 20 because some people some people you know some people are so scared to start something in their 20s that they wait and then they're like in their 40s and 50s and they're like, oh darn it, I should have just did this all along. So yeah, I'm just like, Gary, give yourself time and to just make room for yourself. I think so often we forget to make room for ourselves and it's just like, make room for yourself. I will say, probably the hardest part about, you know, just being a woman in just industries in general that are male dominated is... People are going to question if you know what you're doing, and that's just that's just that. And um, people are going to come up to you and be like, "Are you sure you know what you're doing?" And it's just like, even if I did know what I was doing, would you know any better than I do at this very moment? No. Okay. Let's let's stop then. So I think that's the only frustrating thing. And let me get my rubber bands, but. Huh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, you guys are going to be like this video right here. But I feel like it's a very natural, like, you guys get a feel for me type of thing. Which I like. I like videos like that where you're just like getting a feel for film. A feel. You're getting a feel for the type of person you're watching. So yeah, my hair is actually really nice. Um... I basically, it's been in, it's a braid out. No, this is a twist out. This is a twist out done with the, this type of, let me take off all the, the extra strands of hair. My goodness. Oh my gosh. With this type of brush. So let me show you guys the type of brush it is. It's, I love this brush. You guys know the brush that has like the, It's just, I'm sorry guys, it looks like that. It's just, it it be having like my hair and the actual products on it. I'm so sorry. But yeah, like you guys know that brush. Um, The one where it's like, it's bendable and whatnot. This is, so basically what I do is, I mean, if you guys care, but I'm like, you know, I might as well give a hair tutorial low key. Um, Yeah, so to get this look, all I do is wash, condition, so shampoo, condition, um, then I get out section, comb with this brush. I'll probably like comb out the ends first with like a comb like this, so a wide tooth. Um, I'll comb out the ends with this and then I'll use this. Um, and of course I'll add moisturizer. So lately I've been using the Miel's. Like if I do it like that, you're not gonna be able to see. So like the um, Miel pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner because I wanted a leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair and yeah I'll just put that in and then I'll start the process of combing um with the this isn't a demi brush but it's kind of like a demi brush I think and then I'll twist it up and 
my hair will turn out like this after I after letting it dry. Um, I let it dry, and sometimes I take my hair out a, a day after twisting it, but I prefer not to do that just because I really try my best to wear my protective styles for as long as you know possible. But this month. And last month, I think I've been more casual about, you know, taking my protective styles out. Um, just because I really, I've just been out and about more, thinking more about pictures. And my um, protective styles, they don't necessarily be the neatest just because I don't be tripping off that too much. So, yep, that's what I do. And I, um, the, you know, guys, you want to know where the best place to buy all your products, at, hair products, skincare products, whatever the products the best place, I don't know if they have this, but I'm sure you can like find some. The best place to get your products are are at Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, places like that. Because those type of places have all the products for the low. And by the way, I don't just wear my hair like this. I put a bonnet on top and the bonnet is lined with silk um, for people who want to see what that looks like. Because I totally understand. We're visual people. It looks like this on the inside. Like, I don't know if you guys can see compared to, like, this outside. Like, you see? Silk lined. We're visual people. Some people have silk pillows. I have yet to to um, invest in silk pillows. But, you know, definitely think it would be a great investment. Oh, I have four minutes left. Um, but, yeah, I basically got this from TJ Maxx. A huge bottle of rose water. You see that? For $7. I feel like that was pretty good, okay? And this is compared to twelve dollars. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was six ninety nine. Um, I I did get the Miel's conditioner from Target, but I'm pretty sure if I was in TJ Maxx, I probably would have found this for a little bit cheaper. Although I'm not sure if TJ Maxx might not have the Miel, but Miel's black owned, I believe, so it's it's great. Um, so yeah, let's do our face real quick. With the minutes that we have left, let us do our face, Duryea. Yeah, and I won't be brushing my teeth because, not right now at least, I brush my teeth obviously before I go to bed, but I won't be brushing my teeth right now because I'm going to shower and maybe drink some juice. So I just... As soon as I take my glasses off, I literally need my eyesight weird. I'm happy and I'm sinking in a da 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 da. Okay. Yeah, so I also have this brush. I got this from like Marshalls and this is only like $5. So I usually wash my face with that, but today I'm just doing a, a rag because it's a lazy day. It's, it's a resting day. Like I'm over the night already. I'm like, cool. Do what I was supposed to do. Um, I used CeraVe for an actual wash. I did what I was supposed to do. You know, I came, I saw, I was great. Um, yeah, I really feel like what's really been helping my life out is discipline. So there's a certain, it's not necessarily a schedule. There's no time that I do any of this stuff at. But I figured out what works best for me and I do it every day, you know? I'm like, you know what, Derek, if you want to be a screenwriter, you better write every day. So I literally write for at least five minutes a day, you know? Whether that be, be right before bed or in the morning, you know? Something's being, I'm writing something down for at least, you know, five minutes. And I definitely want to start adding, like, workout to that. But that's another story. Okay. Okay. Huh. Get those eyes. And yeah, I wish I could tell you that I do something like super fancy, but like I literally just spray the water. Spray all the rose water on my face. And um, I'm just gonna do some CeraVe. CeraVe lotion, and I just put this on top of the lotion, which is the, oh my goodness, I can't see if you guys can see that. Which is the healing ointment. But that is it. That is my get ready to lay back on the couch with Darie. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time.